right, y'all. Um, so I'm back with an update. I'm on my way to Asheville, North Carolina for Mother's Day weekend. Um, so it's kind of like an impromptu thing. I got an Airbnb. So this is my first time getting an Airbnb. I'm kind of scared, but <laughs> it's up in the mountains. Um, it's like this apartment that they have built, they built onto their house. So I'll show pictures when I get there. It's a nice deck in the back. Um, they said they have a fire table, space for the kids to run around in the back, and they got goats back there. And um, yeah, so it looks cute from the pictures. I'm on my way there now. We're about an hour away. We're not far from Asheville, living in uh, Greenville. So, anyways, I have an update on my place. So I got the apartment. I didn't get the one that I applied to at first, but um, either way, I got an apartment in Dallas. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's a two bedroom. I was just trying to wait on the update. They, they it took forever. <clears throat> So I was just trying to wait till I heard something from them before I made another video about, you know, uh, my little apartment hunt or whatever. And it's sight unseen, but I seen the, the pictures online and they did like a walkthrough video tour. So supposedly that's ready or they're working on it. It's a bottom floor apartment. <laughs> it's four floors in the building, but, um, you know she was like you know the third the, the the first one that i had applied for they were they were still living in there they still have tenants in there and um she said it wouldn't be ready it wouldn't be ready till the end of june to until um Jan july the first so i kind of don't want to wait that long and and i, and I could have waited but i'm just being impatient now but um Anyways, my moving date is June the 15th, and yes, yeah, so I'm excited, and I mean, it's just going to be there. I'm just going to be there for my first year. Um, it does not have the amenities that I really wanted, like washer and dry connections or a balcony, but like I said, my first year, let me finish school, and you know, once I finish school, get my career, I'll be making more money as well. So yeah. So, so it was an amber alert so that just cut everything off but anyways yeah it, it doesn't have the amenities that i wanted i didn't want i wanted at least washer and dryer and a balcony i wouldn't ask for a lot you know uh clean decent but um whatever it's our first year there um it's in my price range i'm not hurting myself to pay the rent you know, it's right there in Dallas. It's close to everything. The kids' school, they have a good school. It's close by. So I'm excited. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be back um, when I get to Asheville. And then I will, I don't know, I'll probably just get some clips of our weekend. And then um, just put all this together. So. All right, so I just want to pop in, give you an update. We moving to Dallas, June the 15th. All right, bye. Ciao. <laughs> Man. So how about my car broke down on the way there? And uh, like, it just, I don't know what's wrong with it. I just got a new alternator. I just got a new battery and it just died like i didn't die but it lost power while i was driving i missed my exit so i got off one exit to get back on and then it just died it just stopped the lights were on the radio was on but it just could not get any power so i had ordered somebody to come out and give me a jump they didn't even show up. They sent, they dispatched somebody from South Carolina, which was too far. It was in Clinton. I said, I ain't tell that lady nothing about Clinton. So they're supposed to be giving me my money back. Nobody came. So we're just sitting there in the car. It's getting dark. 
luckily we're we're like a few, um a few feet away from a gas station down the street and they were open 24 hours and they had the lights on and stuff um so it had gotten dark thankfully we we ate like we had ate a little bit before that um but yeah i had to i called the police he came out tried to give me a jump and then I had to call the Airbnb people because my mom was out of town for her birthday. She couldn't save me. <laughs> and I had to call the Airbnb people. They picked me up and, and brought us home. But my car is still down there. So I called my dealership. They're open, like the sales department is open today. But not like my account manager is not there and I try getting a tow. So I'm gonna have to wait till Monday for them to pick up my car and take it back to the dealership to see what's wrong with it. There's always something, I won't say that. I don't wanna say that. But um, I've already had repairs done on this car, so I don't know what it could be now. Like, at least it didn't just die, it didn't start smoking or knocking or anything like that. I think it's some kind of electrical stuff or maybe, somebody would say maybe a bad part when they put that alternator in. <clears throat> but, I was like, why are you putting bad parts in my car? And these dealerships, I just, they just be cut corners. They just do the bare minimum to get money and get you on, you know, on out the way. But I'm out to take it back to them. Oh, and, and let me tell you, you might not believe in astrology or whatever, but I there is some truth to that shit because I bought my car during a retrograde. I had to. Uh, my other car had 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 broke down and and then that's one, that's another story but that car had broke down I hadn't been wanting another car anyway I wanted another one so um so yeah I, I just went and started looking for another car and then I got that one because it was like twelve thousand I didn't want to spend twenty thousand on no car. I did not want to spend twenty grand on a car, ten thousand or less, you know. And I didn't have that much of a down payment, so you know they always be wanting all this money, especially for them cheap cars. It's like ten thousand or less. They still want about half of it. Well, with my my credit, anyways. So that was like the cheapest one on the lot, you know. And it was a Nissan. It was nice um, sunroof, you know, but. I can't like hook up my Bluetooth to it, even through the cigarette light. So it's it's always had some little issues with it. I've, I've had to take it back and let them fix the, the heat in it. Cause at that time it was cold, you know, so. <laughs> and, then I, and then it died like a month ago, smoking and just, just died. And it was the alternator and the battery. So now it dies again. So I don't know what it is now. But anyways, it ruined our weekend and we ended up back home. Now without a car, just stuck here until Monday. And then and then I'm trying to move. So I don't even know. Hopefully it's not nothing that's gonna be too expensive because I ain't trying to, you know, try to move. You need all the money you can can get. Um, but, uh, my Airbnb, uh, Airbnb gave me my money back. That tow in place, they never showed up. They gave me my money back. So I'm expecting like $600 to come back to me. Um, and maybe that was $600 I shouldn't have been spending, you know, but, but that was before I even knew I was going to get the apartment. I didn't even know if I was moving away. I didn't know what was happening. Cause I actually was planning on taking a pivot it was like if I don't get the apartment in Dallas then um I have a friend moving to Columbia or she's thinking about it she sounds like she really wants to do that and then it's close to home and um my mom said oh if you move to Columbia I'll, I'll move down that way too Columbia is only about a, about two hours away I guess depending on where you're going it's about two hours away it's an hour away from home 
and it's an uh, hour away from Charleston, so we an hour away from the beach, an hour away from home. So it's actually uh, in a good um, location. So I was like, that was like second best. But, um, you know, I've been really called to Dallas, so I, I wasn't sure about doing that. I mean, just the thought of moving to Columbia, I was like, it's just, just still being home. It's, it's home. <laughs> all of it. All of it feels like home, you know, so it's really nothing different. I mean, I'm pretty sure they got their own culture, their own city. You know, it's it's a new place, but I don't know. It's a different vibe. It's a vibe that I'm used to. So, um, anyways. But, yeah. My Mother's Day weekend is, is uh, it ain't ruined. It, I won't say it's ruined. Because I got my babies here. We got a fridge full of food. We have uh, Wi-Fi's. We have a place to sleep. It's, co it's cool and hot when we want it to be. We can go outside. We still have our freedom. We still have our life. So I won't call it a, uh, I won't say it's ruined. I have everything that I need, everything that makes me happy. So it's just an inconvenience. I wanted to be filming, vlogging in Asheville and I just wanted to be somewhere else, you know. But that was before I got the call that I got my place. So when I went, when I planned that trip to Asheville, it was just kind of to help me cope with not changing. Because I just been feeling a strong urge to change, to to move. Like it's just been almost unbearable, the feeling to change. And... um you know, just going to another little city for the weekend, I, it, the thought of doing that helped with those feelings and just helped to, you know, just be in a different environment. So the fact that I know I'm going to be moving in a month, like I'm not totally heartbroken. I need all that money back anyway. <laughs> so actually, I spent too much money anyway, so it, it is coming back. It, it all works out for you good. You know, it's just now it's about getting that car back. And hopefully it's something that is minor, you know, or hopefully it's something that, you know, the mechanic ain't do right or some bad part. So now I don't have to pay because, it, you know, it's under warranty or some shit. I will hope they don't have me paying for it again. I've never done that before. I've had uh, mechanics replace things that maybe was bad or something like that. And they did not charge me. But, um, anyways, yeah, that's how my weekend's going. <laughs> I'm out to make a nice breakfast, and the kids are still asleep. I'm about to make a nice breakfast. Plan dinner. Um, we're probably, tomorrow, we'll probably order us some good food tomorrow for Mother's Day. And chill in the house. Uh, maybe walk to the park or something like that. But, but yeah. That's how things are going. <laughs> and, you know, you have to watch what you ask for because I was like, I want a new adventure. I'm bored. <laughs> Last night was an adventure, okay? Like two strangers, the people from the Airbnb, we on this little little road trip back to my house. Like, that was nice of them, though. I offered them gas money, you know. Like, I wasn't even sweating the money back from the Airbnb because they were taking me back home. Like, I, I didn't care. Just get me and my babies off the side of the road in the dark because it was pitch black at that time. I was just like, why now? Why now? <laughs> why would you do this now when everything's changing and shifting? I need my car when, my, when I move. Anyways, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> um, but still, I'm moving. Going to Dallas. Yes, yes, yes. And where I'm moving to is around a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm still... Uh, it sounds like HR gave the okay for me to relocate with my current job. So... That's good. 
um, still waiting on the big manager to go ahead and be like, yeah, okay, she can relocate. Haven't heard from him yet. Um, I had just spoke to my supervisor yesterday and she said she's going to follow up with him. So maybe I'll hear something next week. So that would be perfect. Even though I have another job that I could possibly have, but it's conflicting because it starts June 5th. My apartment, my apartment is not ready until the 15th and hopefully it's ready on time. Oh, <laughs> life is just a wild ride, yo. It really is. Either way, I'm going to have a job. Or I ain't really worried about that part. You know, I'm not worried about that. So, um, because of Cornerstone staffing, they always call it about stuff. But I ain't there to do their drug test and stuff like that. So, but I know that's one spot I can go to and get started working somewhere. But, um, all right. <clears throat> I ain't gonna hold you. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to give a life update. Um, yeah, Asheville didn't happen. But I did get approved for my apartment in Dallas. And I possibly can keep my job when I relocate. So that's all for now. I will talk to y'all again next time. Bye.